hi lovelies welcome back to my channel once again welcome back and happy happy sunday so it's the first sunday of the month of feb and i'm so happy to to see you <laughs> yeah i'm so happy to see you and i'm so glad and grateful to god that we are all alive today to see this wonderful day it's really a thing of joy so yes for our word for the day today's our word for the day and you all um, there's this verse that the Holy Spirit kept on giving me last week last week that just passed over yeah. last week it is in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 it it kept it, it was coming like a song but I didn't really know the song and I haven't really heard that song before yes until I had to go to Google you know Google is our friend <laughs> and so I had to search okay what is what is our be with you even in the rivers and oh I was searching that and then I saw that it's actually a verse an actual verse in the Bible and it's in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 but then again I'm going to read down because there's a part I really want you to get okay so Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 when you pass through deep waters I'll be with you. Your troubles will not overwhelm you. Hmm. When you pass through fire, you will not be burned. The hard trials that come will not hurt you. I feel like reading it again. Isaiah 43 verse 2, it says that when you, you that is listening to me, you that is watching me, when you pass through deep waters, the Lord will be with you. Your troubles will not overwhelm you. When you pass through fire, you will not be burned. The hard trials that come will not hurt you. Yes. Let me quickly go to uh, verse 4. Verse 4 says that, I'll give up whole nations to save your life. <laughs> God said he's going to give up whole nations just to save you. <laughs> And then he said, because you are precious to me and because I love you and give you honor. Five, do not be afraid. I am with you. From the distant east and the, far, and the farthest west, I'll bring your people home. See, if you really want to, this, this Bible chapter is something else. So I can just can't start reading everything. You can read Isaiah 43. So really, like when that verse kept coming last week, Isaiah 43 verse 2, I still don't know why God kept uh, ministering that verse to me. I don't have any clue why he, he kept on coming. I don't know why though. But I just wanted to share it with you all because I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the trials that you're going through at the moment. I don't know the difficult things you're facing. I don't know. And the truth is, I don't care to know. Yeah, I don't want to know. I don't want to know because I'm not a solution. The solution is, yes. But I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to let you know that the Bible is saying, that the Lord Jesus is saying that this week, no matter the trouble, the trial, the disappointment you're going to go through this year, no matter the trouble, the trial, the disappointment you're going to go through, he, was, he will always be with you. He said that your troubles will not overwhelm you. <laughs> I think that's where peace comes in, but let's not go into peace. He said that your troubles, okay, the problems that you would go through, will not overwhelm me. That means God knows that we are going to face troubles. He knows that we are going to face trials. But one thing is assuring us is that trial or those trials will not, they will not overwhelm us, which means we are surely going to come out of it stronger. And he said that when we pass through fire, you guys, I think you should know how it clear when it means what it means by passing through fire. You know when you're going through situations that air, eh, even when you look left, right, center, front, back, there is no hope. But God is saying that when you pass through those kind of situations, okay, you will not be born. Instead, in fact, you will come out stronger and better. <laughs> and then He said that the hard trials that come will not hurt you like i said he knows that we're going to face all these trials all these problems he knows but what is assuring us here is that they will not hurt us they will not overwhelm us and also they will not burn us 
yes and then the verse 4 that we went to that he was saying that because the reason why these trials will not hurt you why they will not overwhelm you why the fire will not burn you is because he loves you and you are precious in his sight yes so jesus loves you and you are precious to him now this is it if there's one thing i want you to go home with today let's forget about the trials will not overwhelm you is this jesus loves you and you are precious to him you are precious to him can you imagine that he said he wants to give up nations for you huh <laughs> So Jesus loves you and you are precious to him. So no matter, no matter the things you're facing right now, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. That's, in fact, that's the thing I want you to go home with today. Okay. And then the last verse I read, which is verse 5, it says that, Do not be afraid. There is no how you would be facing trials that you won't be scared. There is just no how you'd be facing disappointing times or problems and you'll not be scared. There's no how you'll be going through a lot that you won't be scared. You shouldn't be scared. Maybe scared of the future. But the Lord is saying that we should fear not. You that is watching me, he said, fear not. Because he would always be with you. He would not leave nor forsake you. <laughs> you face those trials and problems. So, but yes, fear not. And I want you to also remember, uh, what's it called? Not, not, not this. Whenever we are facing trials, whenever we are facing problems, okay, the Lord is always holding our hands. So you are not alone in this battle. Whatever battle things that you're facing, you are not alone. So some of what I'm saying is this, whatever you're facing will not burn you. It will not um, overwhelm you. It will not hurt you. That's what Jesus Christ said. That's not, that's not my word. Though. That's the word of our Father, the one that created us, okay, our Heavenly Father. And the next thing he's saying to us is, we should know that he loves us. He loves us. He loves us. He loves you. He loves you and you're precious to him. And the next thing you need to know is this. Fear not because he's always with you. So yeah, that is it for our word for the day. I hope you learned at least one or two things from this video. So you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for keeping up with me. Thank you for keeping up with happy. Ah. Thank you for keeping up with happy. That's nice. <laughs> See you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Like, I, I really thank God. I, I thank God for everything. And I thank God for you too. So I hope to see you all in my next video. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Happy Sunday. And I love you so much. Mwah.